All right. So this is going to be a quick and dirty build process on the DIY silver bullet. Um, just to give you some comparison, we have the different colors of handles here. Black. This one's already built. Um, it has a little bit of a different tip you can see on it. So if you see that in the pictures, it's um, just a, a test brass tip. But what you get in the package will be the pair of tips, your pick tip here, and your tensioner, obviously. Um, you get whichever handle you choose. So this is the bronze, I guess they call it. This is the silver. And this is orange. Um, I have here in the shop just a few things. This is a copper metal version. So you can see there's a bit of a difference. Or for example, here's a aluminum versus the printed. I don't know how well you can see that. In any case, just to give some on video comparisons of how they look. Um, the printed handles definitely work, but they're not as nice as machined. Um, if you take them apart, or before you, the build process here, if you sand the, the internal part here, and you sand this part here, that, so the mating surfaces, it's going to be a lot better. Um, in any case, basically the major thing that you have to do to build these is take your brass insert that comes with the kit, and you're going to have to sink this into the handle. And you can either, you can do it one of two ways. You can just do it by eye, which is what I do. Um, or you can insert the tip so that you don't go too far. Um, it's kind of up to you. Either way isn't going to really hurt it. Um, I'll do it with the, with the tip in place so you can just get a comparison to see, see the process. It's not, so I have, I have my, uh, soldering iron heating up over here so I'm just going to um, I think you can get a good view of it right there like that so it's pretty simple just take take this guy and brass does heat up pretty fast so you don't want to hold on to the brass all that much you just can slip it onto the end of your soldering iron or however you want to do it um, and then you just align it and after a second or two, this gentle pressure down, um, you're going you're gonna to go until it's a little lower than flush. And that's it. Now, it's going to be pretty hot, so you don't want to touch it at the moment. You don't want to touch it with your fingers. Um, let it cool, and that's it. You just need to, you know... And on the, on the front handle, it's not really that critical. On the rear handle, you do want it, obviously, a little bit lower than flush. Just so you don't have it, you know, there's a little bit of a tolerance here, so you can have it even a little bit raised. But you don't want it, you know, super uh, raised up. Now, down in the, in the hole there, there may be a little bit of plastic that's in between the threads now and the tip. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera easily maybe I can shine a light in there and see it uh, yeah so there's a little bulb of plastic and the other work to do besides sinking in your your inserts is basically just take your tensioner or some other scrapey element and and dig that out of there um, if you do it when it's hot it's a little bit easier um, but you can also poke your tensioner straight through the top to get it started if you need to do like that. It's a little bit hard to do on camera. Or give it a little tap. Or you can use another, you know, small pointy element. So that basically clears that out of there. And actually it went all the way through to the other side. So I can just... Poke it out here and 
dump it out and that's what we had that was kind of lodged in there behind the threads if you can see that in any case it's just a little bit of plastic um, so you're going to do that with both sides and you're going to make sure it's clear and then that's all there is really to the the um, the process take one of your set screws put the knurled side down and take your allen wrench and screw them down until they're tight um, so you have one set screw on each side that'll help to center both the pick and the tensioner you have to put a decent amount of force onto the tensioner the pick doesn't really need that much because of the diameter um, etc and then it's really just adjusting it you know making sure that it's smooth you have both of them you know with relatively even force crimping them in place um, you're gonna notice if it's really bent out of shape or you know the handles are really misaligned but if they if they're free and smooth and they they rotate pretty easily um, the the tips will self-center because obviously they're wrapped around each other so you're mostly just looking for the handle movement to be free and not give you a lot of binding there um, and that's pretty much it the DIY kit is pretty easy to build but you do need a, either a soldering iron is, is about the easiest or you could probably heat up the brass with um, something else such as a torch you know hold it with pliers heat it up a little bit and then press it in place I haven't done that because I have a soldering iron and it's pretty easy but you do need some way of making this hot um, and sinking it in or going over to a friend's house who has a soldering iron you can get them on on uh, Amazon these days for under 10 bucks so I mean um, pretty cheap and have at it good luck